What's up, YouTube? Erod 212 here with another video. So, this past weekend, Garden State Comic Fest in Morristown, New Jersey was in full effect. Let's check out what we picked up this time. Alright, so, so like I said, Garden State Comic Fest. Uh, the good, the bad, the ugly. I like the show. I felt there were a little less uh, comic vendors this time than even last year. And last year it had reduced. So you're getting the second side, which is the hockey rink. Doesn't have as many comics as it used to have. The other side is all comic book and creators and artists and stuff like that. Now, positive side, great, great creators and artists. You have the Simonsons there. You had Beasley there. Um... Who else we have? Oh, we had my boy Ryan G. Brown was there on Saturday. Um, and, and, and a host of other artists and voice actors and stuff like that. So if you're into all of that stuff, a uh, very good show to get remarks, sketches. Uh, everybody was lining up for the Walt Simonson $50 remarks that he does now. He does a little more detailed remarks. He uses fine pens and everything. Uh, saw a couple that he did. They look fantastic. Uh, the bed, it's, it's a $30 entrance fee for a single day. I think for that size, I mean, I get it because of the artist they're getting and everything like that, but $30 was a little steep uh, in my opinion, but there were some really good vendors there with some really good books. Um, you know, matter, matter of fact, let's take a look at the show floor and let me show you what it looked like.
so that's the show floor. I, I'm telling you, there was some banging books there. And uh, I shot this video first day, but after I had done my shopping, so some books did come off the wall, but I'll be able to share them with you here, all right? Uh, we'll start small and show you how uh, what I was looking at, but books like this by, uh, you know, this uh, Ghost, uh, Spider Gwen, Ghost Spider 1, the Lobos variant. Um, love this cover here for Ghost Rider Wolverine number one. Uh, that's a classic Wolverine by George Perez. Um, John Tyler, Christopher, Negative Space. Uh, Spider-Gwen, Ghost Spider, number one. This is the Jenny Frizen. Just beautiful. Um, the Black Cat, Adam Hughes, one in 25. Love the way he does this here. Uh, Nate Thirty doing the Black Cat. This is the Virgin variant on this one. And uh, Amazing Spider-Man 52, another Lobos Black Cat. Lobos does the Black Cat very, very, very well. Um, talk about doing it very well. Pause. Uh, nobody doing Doctor Doom like my man Alex Ross. This, uh, the Virgin variant right here. That is just iconic. And I'll always pick these variants up. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man number one, first appearance of Cindy Moon. Uh, this is the variant edition. Really nice rendition of Spider-Man. And uh, we'll stop by Zaps. He's always got some great books there for us. So we're able to pick up uh, Amazing Sp uh, uh, Uncanny X-Men 256. First appearance of uh, Psylocke in the Asian firm of form. Also, uh, Uncanny X-Men number uh, 150, I'm sorry, Vision's going on, I mean, 158, first appearance of Rogue in the X-Men, I believe it's a third full appearance, and we were also able to get a new stand edition of this book, man, this is a great book to own, uh, first time on the X-Men title. Uh, another great book to own, Captain America Annual number six, iconic Mike Zek cover. Wish Mike Zek would come back to the United States, I believe he's living in the Philippines now, just to get some books signed. I mean, a Secret Wars 8 signed by Zach again would be fantastic. Um, low grade, but low grade is better than no grade on this book. Uh, King Size, Avengers Annual number 10, first appearance of Rogue. This book takes a lot of hate for a terrible cover. She's not even depicted in it. I mean, it's a little, little shadow there, and there's just so much going on. Whoever did the concept, not not a fan. It might be Michael Golden on this, but I'm not a fan of it. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man Annual number six. Anytime I can get these Spidey annuals from the '60s, uh, uh, another book we always pick up. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 282, first appearance of Bishop. If you watch X-Men '97, you'll know. Uh, talking about X-Men '97, we go with X-Men Adventures number one, uh, first morph in comics. But just an iconic book. Great, great book. Seen this now. Get, I've seen this book now quite often getting signed by uh, people with the voiced, voiced character. So uh, there's been a big resurgence for like Cal Dodd, I believe, is the Wolverine voice. And all of the other voice character actors, um, they do signings. And people get a lot of X-Men pieces, which makes a lot of sense. It looks pretty cool. Um, and anytime I can get this at an affordable price, Double Digit Spideys, Amazing Spider-Man, number 91. Very nice copy. Mid-grade copy, but I will take it. And now we're going to find the bangers. Uh, this was a great steal. And this was my man, Izzy, um, hooked me up. He found two of them, and he was like, hey, take this book. It's a Street Fighter uh, Shadowloo Special, number one. And that's that homage to the X-Men book. This is a $60 book. A uh, tough book to find in great condition. This was high grade, and this was sitting in a bin for, I think, 10 bucks. And now we'll start with the bigger boy books. Uh, tough. I don't see this too often, but uh, Halo graphic novel. This is the preview edition. Tough book to find. You don't see this out there too often. You'll find the Halo. You will not find the preview too often. Uh, again, low grade, better than no grade. Uh, got a great, great deal on this book. Conan the Barbarian, number one, Barry Windsor Smith, art, and I uh, got this book at a steal. It's probably a 2.0, but still, you're talking first appearance of Conan, a Bronze Age key for sure. Got this first deal. And same booth, I picked up this. Some bag stuff there. Detective Comics 880, the best jock cover ever. 
uh, probably a 9.4, I had to press it out. So uh, the story goes, uh, the vendor who had these books bought a collection and uh, the guy who he bought it from used to get all his books shipped from somebody he knew at DC. But when he got them shipped, they all took a bang on the corner. So all of the books had the corner bend on them, including the 880. So the bend to the front, the color break to the front and back, probably like a 9.4, but still a great book to get. Fantastic price. And then uh, got next three out of four I got from my man Mike. Uh, always giving me deals my man Mike Williams you'll see him at uh, Clifton show and all the other shows make sure you check him out but I picked up this beautiful copy uh, at least a 6-0 copy of uh, X-Men number 50 that iconic Jim Steranko cover uh, I've seen Steranko sign this in gold it really pops well with the green or green across the X-Men logo either way looks really really good uh, one of my favorite if not my favorite Steranko cover Zap Comics had oh, amazing books on their wall. They got a whole run of Spider-Man books, uh, Double Digits, Keys, FF books, X-Men books. They had it all up there today, uh, this weekend, excuse me. Yeah, it was out there. But I picked up this copy of X-Men number 194, First Appearance of the Black Cat, only because uh, I felt that this book had a lot of pressable defects. I'm hoping to get this book graded and get an improvement from what the grade is on it. Um, we'll see. I'll let you know what, what it was graded at and what I've got on it after we do it. But I think this was a really, really good pickup. And then again, my man Mike had these two books on the wall. And he gave me a killer deal. Uh, I picked up uh, Swamp Thing number 37. Really, really high grade copy. Uh, first appearance of John Constantine. And uh, the last one. New, New Mutants 98 newsstand edition first appearance of Deadpool I think I had a good two days man uh, big shout out to everybody in the community stopped by, said hello, hung out with my boy Manny NYC, my boy Fetty uh, got to hang out with, talk to Ryan my boy Joe Rock and I just did a lot of hunting on Saturday matter of fact, let me just show you what my man Manny picked up there uh, super super high grade copy of Batman 608, the second print uh, this is going to be pressed, and then he, I believe he's taking this to Terrificon, where he's going to get Jim Lee to sign it. Terrificon is almost upon us, about a month and a half away. If you are going there, make sure you stop by the booth, say hello. I believe I'm going to be booth 420 again, uh, waiting for my confirmation on that. But it should be a great time, and until the next video, peace.